Hey, what is going on, people? It's Ren. It's me. For those who remain, me, I'm from Colombia. I've been learning English over the past three years, and in this video, I want to to make a record about my my speed when reading. I remember back in 2019 when I read. Actually, my speed on reading wasn't that good, but I I actually could was reading so here I am again after a year um, precisely a year ago I started reading on a daily basis I started that heavy which I feel pretty uh, comfortable pretty uh, thankful for that action I've, I've read uh, some books I've read the 12 rules for life from Jordan Peterson I've read the book from Nicola Carr uh, which is the what the, what the inter, what does the internet what does the internet does to your brain? Anyway, something like that. And I found it really amazing. So my first book was uh, so much psychological terminology, and I really find it quite complex to understand. But it was practicing my reading, and I mostly read uh, out loud, which I think is completely different when you read uh, for your own. And you actually you don't uh, vocalize very well what you're what you're gonna say, so it's completely different if you if you read just for your own and just uh, assume that you're reading. But if you read out loud, perfectly uh, uh, out loud, so it 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 trains the muscle, uh, the vocal cords of your of your uh, second language. So with this. I want to just start reading and see what is the, if my speed has improved in, uh, in terms of uh, retention is concerned. I think that I've uh, gained a little bit of level out there. Uh, but yeah, so here I am. Hope you enjoyed the video. Talk to you next week. See you around. Elephants need to have as much sleep as humans, requiring just four hours of slumbers each day. Tigers and lions devour 15 hours of daily sleep. The brown that outperforms a lot of mammals, being awake for just five hours each day, will sleep in 19 hours. Total amount of time is one of the most conspicuous differences in how organisms sleep. Body, no, no, no. You imagine that you you'd imagine the reason for such a clear cat variation in the sleep need is obvious, and it isn't. None of none of the likely contenders, body size, prey predator predator status, diurnal nocturnal, usefully explains the difference in sleep needs across species. Certainly, sleep time is at least similar within any one phylogenetic category, since they share much of their genetic code. It is certainly true for other basic tra traits with phyla, such as sensory capabilities, methods, and reproduction, and even, even degree of intelligence. Yet sleep violates these reliable patterns. Squirrels and digus are part of the same family group, rodents. They couldn't be more dissimilar in, in sleep need. The former sleep twice as long as the latter, 15.9 hours for the squirrels versus 7.7 .7 hours of the, for the dig. Conversely, conversely, you can find near identical sleep times in utterly different family groups. The humble guinea pig and the precocious baboon, for example, which are of Mar markedly different phylogenetic order, not to mention physical sizes, sleep precise the same amount of 9.4 hours. So what does explain the difference in sleep time and perhaps lead from species to species or even within a gene genetic similar order? We're not entirely sure, 
the relationship between the size of the nervous system, the complexity of the nervous system, and the total body mass appears to be in some one meaningful predict predictor, which increased brain complexity relative to body size, resulting in greater sleep amount. But weak and not entirely consistent, this relationship suggests the one evol evolutionary function that dem demands more sleep is the need to survive. An increasingly complex nervous system. As millennia unfold in evolution crowned its current accomplishment with the genesis of the brain, the demand for sleep only increase tending to the needs of this month of precious of all psychological apparatus. Yet this is not the whole story, not by a good measure. Numerous species deviate widely from the predict predictions may be this rule. For example, an opposed which weighs almost the same as the rat sleep 50% longer, clocking an average of 18 hours each day. The opposed is just one hour shy of the animal kingdom record for a sleep amount currently held by the brown bat, whose, as previously mentioned, rat taps are open 19 hours of sleep each day. There was a moment in, in research history when scientists wondered if the measure of choice, total minutes of sleep, was the wrong way of looking at the question of why sleep varies so considerably across species. Instead, they suspect that assessing sleep quality rather than uh, quantity time would help would shed some light on the mystery. That is, species with superior quality of sleep should be able to accomplish all the need in, in shorter time, and vice versa. It was a great idea, with the exception that, it, if anything, we have discovered the opposite relationship. Those that sleep more have deeper, higher quality of sleep. Okay? That's it.